the tower is poised at the end of the runway, a five meter drop on the north side. This is the precipice that Mark wants it to fall over. The bulk of the tower's weight already lies on the north end, so its natural inclination is to fall in this direction. Mark uses this to his advantage. To start the fall, he notches the tower like a tree by detonating shaped charges on the north end of the bottom three floors. The charges slice through the steel. Mark strategically places dynamite to kick out the steel support columns and beams. The tower collapses towards the notch. The structure is massive. It's really heavy. If it moves, it stops, and it sits down vertically, we have a problem. It's got to move quickly. It's got to keep moving. To keep the tower moving, Mark will detonate a second series of shape charges, shearing off the seventh level. The top of the tower is now free to rotate over, giving the tower the momentum to continue falling to the north, over the edge of the runway, and away from the bat cave. Explosives arrive on site. The plan can now be put into action. It's taken Mark's daughter, Stacy, and a colleague 24 hours to drive the explosives down to the site. She has brought powerful charges designed to cut through MST-40's tough steel. They're called linear-shaped charges. The Air Force has deemed them so volatile and so dangerous that only essential crew was allowed within 365 meters of them. Ray Zakowski works with these explosives all the time. It's named that uh, specifically because of the shape of the charge. What you see here is a, a copper coating and inside is a um, explosive called RDX. It's, it's a form of a plastic explosive it detonates at about 25,000 feet per second. It's very fast, very high velocity. And they meet in the middle, and then they get pushed down through the target. The team needs over 700 of these charges to bring MST-40 down. But the charge itself is just one part of a complex system. This is what we call a pigtail assembly. This is a combination of 80 grain detonating cord, and this actually has an explosive powder inside of it called PETN. It is connected to an RDX booster. RDX is another type of explosive. This piece of wood is simply there to give us something to affix to the end of the shape charge so that we get a nice firm budding of the cap up against the powder inside the linear shape charge. They, need it up on they the must assemble each floor. one individually. Once CDI fits the charges with pigtails and boosters, the explosives are ready to blow. 